All right. Welcome to Be Ready, guys. It's your man, Mark. So, <laughs> if you haven't done so already, please make sure you check out the video, the predecessor to this video, both the predecessors, which is going to be the one about the Recover Tactical Brace, as well as the Micro Roaming Brace. So, this is what I really, I, I, I did the other two videos because I really wanted to get to this video. Please make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you need any um, consultation, farm consultation, if you need any uh, instructions, if you need any training, if you need any certifications, your wear and carry, Mellon HQL, or multi-state certifications for your uh, wear and carry needs, please, please, please reach out to me on Instagram at MD underscore ready. If you are looking to sponsor somebody, hint, hint, <laughs> you can also do the same thing as well. Reach out to me, MD underscore ready. Um, yeah, guys, if you have any content ideas, please also DM me. Please don't put it in the comment section because sometimes I'll see comments like I got just to come today that was a year old, okay? Let's have a discussion in the comment section below. Again, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you have either Recover Tactical or Micro Roni, um, specifically tailored for the Polymer 80, let me know. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you think it's a, if it's a gimmick, if it's not even really worth it, if it's useless. And I'm going to let you know the pros and cons for both of them and which one I do or do not like and why I do or do, like, do, or do not like them both. So let's get into the information. This is going to be the Recover Tactical. Okay, you see I have the optic off for right now. Um, I'll tell you why once I make sure this thing is clear. It's clear, of course. So we'll go ahead and lock it back. So, recover tactical. What I do not like, I'm going to start off negative, right? But it is what it is. I do not like that this is kind of a permanent solution to a degree. It's not like you can lock it in quickly like with the, um, the macaroni. So you have a, a bolt here that you actually screwed in. And that bolt will allow for you to be able to um, have it pretty much fixed to the pistol. It is a brace, okay? It has a blade here with a, uh, a strap, okay? I like how it folds. And the folding piece stays here. Uh, night is somewhat kind of sturdy, right? You also have a vertical or, oh, excuse me, angle foregrip. Angle foregrip. And you put a little bit of pressure there, snatch the magazine out, and you're good to go. It also acts as a grip, right? You know, protect your hand because you don't want anything flagging in front of the muzzle. Definitely don't want that. Now, it's a little bit smaller than the um, the Micaroni, and it's a lot lighter. And again, it comes with a holster. So I know I kind of went out of water, right? Again, things I don't like. I don't like the fact that it's pretty much permanently attached, and I don't like that it's not as sturdy as the Micaroni. I also don't like the fact that it... Um, I had to remove some material back here in order to get it to fit, in order to cycle properly, because I couldn't slap the slab back. But besides that, guys, I do kind of like it. So those are my three gripes with it. Now, also, the fact that you have to put sights on here, just like the one I micro so it's kind of not really a knock to it, but you have to put sights on here. Um, don't like the fact that this T-handle and this hump here get in the way of your sights. Now let's focus on the good stuff. Let's not be so negative, right? Now what I love about it, I love the fact that this thing has a rail at the bottom. I think that's pretty ingenious because if you don't want to put this vertical, blah, 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 this angle forward grip on there, you can choose to put a light or laser if you want, or maybe you want to put a uh, angle forward grip that's flat because you're not worried about having a spare mag, right? Um, I like the fact that it has this, you remove one of the pick rails, so that you can also mount a, a piece for your uh, your sights. And they actually gave this this uh, this rail mount free. Okay, they gave the rail mount free. I guess they knew that you know you try to line the sucker up, you're not gonna be really be able to see, you're not gonna be able to see your sights. You're not gonna be able to see your sights. They know you're not gonna be able to do that. So it is what it is. Um, but mm, it's pretty neat. And it also comes with a holster. So the holster engages here, okay, and it covers the trigger. So you have some some safety and security. The Macaroni does not have that. It doesn't have that option. You just make sure you have a dead trigger. Don't have one in the head. So, but it doesn't feel as sturdy, guys. It just doesn't. It's just something about it doesn't feel sturdy. But I think this will be this will be a good kind of a backpack situation or if you're going to a hotel. I see no purpose of having that holster on me because it just is going to stick out and be super bulky. But it's pretty interesting, right? It does what it needs to do. It functions properly. 
you can see in the video um, that I posted in the, the video about this uh, recovered tactical uh, brace, you can see that it functioned without a problem. And it can shoot open with the brace open or close. Now, enough about this one. Let's now jump to the, let's make sure that oh, nothing's in there, dead trigger. Now, let's jump to the micro run. Micro run, make sure it's clear. Even when I didn't let the charger handle go, it just feels, it just feels better. No pun intended, it just does. So, with the micro running, what do I love about it? I love the fact that, number one, I can now put my polymer 80 inside of here. So this is a polymer 80 Glock 17 Gen 3 that I put together. Uh, I love the blast count in, right? To kind of keep the blast further away from you since instead of you, when you're uh, occasionally shouldering it or if you're touching your cheek, something of that nature, the, gun, the firearm is going to be close to you versus when you're typically shooting, it's out and away from you. So they have that blast can there. That is awesome. Keep the blast away from your body. Good. The Gen 2 also has this magazine release, which I talked about in the former video when it's specifically uh, tailored to this Micaroni. Also, the it just it just feels it feels high quality, guys. It, it just does. So you can also shoot it again, just like with the Recover Tactical, with the brace uh, close, right? And I love the Gen 1, and I love this one just as much, right? The optic sits on it nicely. Now, this brace does seem like it's a little longer than my Gen 1. I'm not really sure. It just feels different. It feels different. It feels a little longer, uh, which will give you a better length of pull um, and also give you better options for when you're occasionally touching your shoulder or your cheek. Now, with that being said, I don't have a lot of negatives for this besides the fact that you don't have a cover for your trigger guard. So, of course, uh, you do not have a cover for your trigger guard, right? So, um with the holster with the uh, uh um, the recover tactical it has a, a place to cover the trigger guard but then when i think about it honestly chance of me really having that firearm or that brace pistol in a holster you know it, it's slim to none so let's go ahead and remove that from the equation so neither one of them have options to cover the trigger but this one does not have a holster which i wouldn't put it in the holster anyway but the recover tactical does have a holster and if you want to cover the trigger you know that you have that option if you're traveling or something like that, right? Or if you have it stowed away in a location where you can just grab it quickly out of the holster and deploy the brace to go ahead and get the work. You do that. So, honestly, guys, between them both, um, which one do I prefer and why? Honestly, it doesn't even matter, to be honest with you. You know, um, it really doesn't matter which one you get. But I would just think about this. You get what you pay for. I have not had to mill anything down with this particular brace. Uh, the Gen 1 works perfectly. I prefer the, the Gen 2 uh, Microni, if you can pretty much pretty much tell. I didn't mean to be biased or anything like that. But the fact of the matter is with this, um, this Recover Tactical, guys, I had to had to remove material from something I spent 200 something dollars on in order to uh, make it function properly. And I don't think if I'm spending any amount of money that I should have to do any additional stuff to make sure a product functions properly. Recover Tactical, you want you can reach out to me. Um, I'm just a, just a guy trying to build a YouTube channel. I'm not trying to ding your product. But the fact that matters for my, in my particular case, these are the issues that I experience. Okay. Now, Micaroni, zero issues at all. Okay. None. Everything was flawless. So with that being said, guys, please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I know I went a little out of order beginning with the uh, Recover Tactical when it dealt with, um, you know, my likes and dislikes. But I just had I just had this love and relationship with this thing, right? Um, oh, bonus. It comes with a sling if you get the entire kit. So, but I just had some issues. And I, was, I tried so hard to make this thing work. And it works now. But I just shouldn't have to. I should have been able to just plug and play. So, my gripe is done. Um, I like them both. And to be honest, this one is still in use. It's, it's in use, right? But this is the one that I will actually go to first. So um, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, God bless you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you have either one of these or you consider getting either one of these, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you think they're gimmicky, gimmicky or if you're a yay or nay, whatever you may believe. And let's have a discussion about it. If you need any training, you need any certifications, I'm your local instructor, at least one of them in the, in the Maryland area. So God bless you guys. Check me out on Instagram and YouTube, and y'all have a good one.